Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're doing Get Ready With Me, where I take you through basically my entire hydrating, very moisturizing, brown girl friendly skincare routine for the morning. So in this video, I'll have a lot of different options for sunscreens that don't leave a white cap, because I know that can be really frustrating if you have, you know, a little bit of melanin in your skin. You know, a lot of sunscreens can leave you looking ghostly or ashy or blue or purple. So the sunscreens that I am going to recommend today don't leave a white cast on me personally, and they're really beautiful, very elegant formulas. So if you want to see how I go from this to this, then just keep watching. So first things first, I have already cleansed my skin. I used my Fenty Skin Cleanser. I love this cleanser so much. It has like a twist cap and you dispense it into your hands or onto whatever cleansing device that you use. I personally use something called a Luna Mini 2 by Foreo Sweden, and I cleanse my skin. So my skin is already cleansed, and I will admit, I've been like doing stuff like setting up my camera and everything, so my skin is feeling a little dry, so I'm actually gonna go back in with a water spray to rehydrate my skin. This is the Aven um, Thermal Spring Water. I'm just gonna... Oh my God, that feels so good. I'm gonna really lightly spray it on my skin just to add some water back onto the surface of my skin because the next thing I'm gonna do is go in with a hydrating serum. And so generally with hydrating serums, especially ones that contain, you know, those humectant type ingredients that bring water and moisture to the skin, you wanna have damp skin because it'll increase, you know, the amount of moisture on the skin. But the serum I'm gonna be using is the Timeless B5 Hydration Serum. I really like this. It's very affordable, um, but it has a really beautiful texture. It doesn't make my skin sticky or anything. I just take a couple drops into my hand and I rub it together and then I kind of massage it into my skin. This absorbs really quickly and just adds such a beautiful punch of hydration to my skin. I'm also going to apply some to my neck. I do think it's really important to bring your skincare down your neck to your chest area because these areas do age as well and the skin there is quite delicate so it is important to bring your skincare down. Okay, so now that the serum has absorbed into my skin, I'm going to use a moisturizer. Now, whatever moisturizer you use is totally up to you. I prefer to use a more gel-based moisturizer in the morning because I find that it just lays best with my sunscreens over top. This is a Pharmacy Daily Greens moisturizer. I just take a little bit onto my finger and then I cap it very quickly because with jar packaging, you do want to be careful with exposing it to air and therefore contamination. So I just dot it. Oops, that was a lot. Kind of dot it onto my skin and then work it in. This moisturizer is really gorgeous because it has really hydrating ingredients and yet it doesn't make my skin feel sticky or too oily. I find that a lot of times the moisturizers that I use at night are way too thick to be using during the daytime. So a nice gel moisturizer like the Pharmacy Daily Greens Moisturizer is great, especially if you have oily skin. I know I personally have dry to normal skin, so my routine is quite hydrating. But if you have oily skin, this particular gel moisturizer actually has a really gentle mattifying effect, which I think is really cool. It's not drying at all, it's super hydrating. Yeah, it keeps my skin shine free, which is really important because no one wants to look super greasy or super oily. So now that my moisturizer has kind of settled into my skin, my skin is feeling really happy, really moisturized, really hydrated, um, and now I'm ready for sunscreen. So for sunscreen, the sunscreen that I'm going to demonstrate today is the Fenty Skin SPF. This is called their Hydrovisor SPF, I believe. Yeah, it's called the Fenty Skin Hydrovisor Invisible Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. So this is a new launch from Fenty Skin, and I guess it's not that new, it's been out for a while now, but I actually really love the sunscreen because it's really moisturizing, it doesn't leave a white cast, and it just feels really nice on the skin. So I'll be honest with you, I'm not going outside today at all. I'm just gonna be sitting at home and working. So I'm not gonna go ham on the sunscreen. If you are going outside, you should absolutely over apply sunscreen, but I don't wanna waste product, so I'm only going to apply as much as I need. So I take a pretty generous amount and I start to dot it all over my skin. So what's kind of cool about this particular sunscreen is that it has like a pink tint to it in, you know, when it's dispensed onto your hand. Once you blend it out, that goes away completely. 
but right now it looks a little bit pink. And even though it looks white, like this on my face, as I start to blend it in, it will disappear completely. What's nice about this sunscreen is that you can actually over apply it. So I always, I always harp on the fact that people don't apply enough sunscreen and sunscreen really is the most important step in your entire skincare routine. I don't care how many expensive moisturizers or oils that you use, if you're not wearing SPF, what's the point? So it is super, super critical that you wear sunscreen and you wear enough sunscreen. This sunscreen just has the most beautiful finish. So that's what Miss Fenty Skin looks like on my skin personally. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but my skin just looks really healthy, really glowy, really radiant. And as the sunscreen dries down, it'll tone down a little bit in the dewy effect. Um, but right now, I actually like the way that it looks. I wish it would stay this way, but it does dry down to be a little bit more satin. As far as sunscreens go that are brown girl friendly and also you know, can be applied to different skin types, here are my picks. So Fenty Skin SPF, I do think that because it's very moisturizing, if you have dry to normal skin, you'll really like this. If you have oily skin, you might find it to be too emollient, too moisturizing, but that's up to you. This one though is really beautiful. It's formulated with organic sunscreen filters that are approved in the US, so they're not um, that advanced in terms of other sunscreen filters like Tinosorb S or Uvenol A that are a little bit more sophisticated in my opinion, but this is still really, really good. It's totally safe, it's totally effective. One thing to keep in mind is that this is SPF 30. I prefer going for higher SPFs because if I under apply it, I get more protection versus under applying SPF 30. So just one thing to keep in mind. If you have oily skin, this sunscreen is going to be your best friend. This is the Misha Essence Sun Milk. It's SPF 50 plus and PA 3 pluses. And this is probably my favorite sunscreen of all of summertime because even though I have dry to normal skin, in the summer where I live in Texas, it gets super, super hot. And so it's really important for me to find a sunscreen that keeps me shine free and not looking like just a greasy disaster. So with that being said, this sunscreen has a very kind of runny texture to it, as you can see. It does not feel like a sunscreen at all. It feels really, really nice on the skin. It is quite alcohol-based, and that means that it's going to be super, super lightweight. Like when I apply this sunscreen, after it sinks into my skin, I cannot feel it on my skin at all. So I always buy mine from olali.com. They're a Korean skincare retailer, and they're really, really reliable. The other two sunscreens I think would probably, I think one of them would work for oily skin, one of them probably not. So I'll start with one that could work for either. So. Cray Beauty The Beat Shield. This could work for either oily or dry skin. I think dry skin people would prefer this formulation because it's really moisturizing. I think it does have the same finish as this Fenty Skin SPF in my opinion. The only difference is that while this feels like a moisturizer, this feels like a serum. This Cray Beauty Beat Shield has a texture of kind of like condensed milk. It feels really nice and really moisturizing. And what I really like about this sunscreen is that it's not just formulated with those sunscreen ingredients. It also has a lot of antioxidants in it. And so when you combine, you know, sunscreen filters and antioxidants, it's a powerful combination because not only are you protecting your skin from UV rays, you're also providing antioxidant benefits to your skin, which can really help with scavenging free radicals. I actually am working on an entire video about the chemistry behind how antioxidants actually work because it's actually very interesting. So if you want to see that video about the chemistry behind antioxidants and give this video a thumbs up and comment down below that you want to see it. So yeah, Cray Beauty SPF. I really, really like this one. This is one is really, really nice. The last sunscreen that I'll mention is a COSRX um, Aloe Soothing Sun Cream. This is also SPF 50 plus and PA 3 pluses. This feels like a moisturizer. It's quite thick in my opinion. Um, it's comparable to the Fenty Skin moist uh, not moisturizer sunscreen. They both have a moisturizer feel to them, but as with all these sunscreens, they don't leave a white cast on me personally at all. They're completely invisible. So just to quickly recap, if you have oily skin, the Misha Essence Sun Milk will be your best bet because it's super, super lightweight and it has a satin to matte finish. If you have really dry skin, I would probably recommend the Fenty Skin SPF or the Cosrx Aloe Soothing Sun Cream. Both of these have a thicker moisturizer texture to them. And then lastly, something that could work for either dry or oily skin, I think the Cray Beauty Beat Shield is a great, great pick. It's 
pretty affordable. It's like $20. Actually, all of these are very affordable. They're under $25, I believe. So with that being said, these sunscreens are very accessible. They're very affordable and they're invisible on me personally. So if you're around my skin tone, um, you'll probably have good luck with these. One thing I did want to mention is that these three sunscreens are Asian sunscreen formulations. And so they do contain more sophisticated sunscreen filters like Tinosorb S and Uvenil A. These sunscreen filters tend to be a little bit more photostable, meaning that they don't break down as easily. And they're not as irritating as some other sunscreen filters that are approved in the US that fall under the organic sunscreen like umbrella. So that's basically my skincare done. I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup really quickly. So for my eyeshadow, I want something to reflect kind of the pink undertone of my dress. And how cute is this dress, by the way? It goes down to like my shins. Um, so it's like a midi length. It's really cute, it's really comfy. It's from Aritzia, I'll link it down below. So I'm gonna use my Impressionism palette from Muse Beauty, of course. I am the co-founder of this brand and this palette is just the best. So I'm gonna pick up the shade Water Lily, which is a beautiful, like, icy, rosy, shimmery color. And I'm just gonna apply this to my eyelids in like a sheer wash of color. You could also use your fingertips, but I have sunscreen all over my hands. This eyeshadow never ceases to amaze me. It is the most perfect shimmery pink color. I cannot tell you enough how much I love this shade. And then I'm just gonna blend out the edges really fast. This is a great way to incorporate color into your makeup routine is just applying any color, like literally any color from this palette can be used as like a sheer wash of color over your eyelids. Um, so if you're scared of color, I think that's a great way to ease yourself into it. It's definitely what I did. And I can't decide what gloss I'm going to use. I have two of the lip glazes from Muse Beauty. I have Cassat, which is a really, I don't know, I'm holding up, up to my lips as if the blue is going to look good on me. It's a color transforming shade. It looks blue in the tube, but when you apply it, it transforms to a beautiful, like rich pink color, depending on whatever your body chemistry is. And then we have Cezanne, which is a really pretty peach color. And then I'm gonna use Cassat. So I'll show you how Cassat applies. It is seriously so comfy. And it's really moisturizing because it is formulated with jojoba seed oil, macadamia seed oil, and vitamin E. So while that color develops, because it does take a couple minutes for the color to show up completely, I'll quickly do my brows. So I'll just use a brow gel and comb through them really quick. For mascara, I'm using Hourglass Caution Mascara, and I think they changed the wand on this. I don't remember the wand being like this. I remember it being a lot fatter and a lot fluffier. Okay, so now all that's left is jewelry. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. Um, but anyway, I was just saying that 80% of my jewelry collection, I don't know where it's from because it was all gifts. Um, so this necklace was a gift from my fiance, and then obviously I have my ring. These chunky hoops are so cute. Um, they were also a gift. But uh, I can find something similar probably and link it down below. And then I love this like crisscross ring. I think it's so pretty. I always wear it on my pointer finger. Now we have perfume. So my favorite fall winter perfume is Mongrelan, but I'm out of it. So I'm, I'm literally just like the dregs of it. I'm spraying on myself. Oh my God, it smells so good though. It's like a beautiful, sophisticated, grown up vanilla jasmine scent. It's so beautiful. Now I'll give my hair a quick brush. My hair air dried last night and I slept on it while it was wet. So it's looking a little weird. But anyway, that's my entire morning skincare routine. I really hope you found it helpful, especially the SPF bit because I know how frustrating it can be to try and find an SPF that doesn't look ghostly white on you. So hopefully I gave you some helpful suggestions on sunscreens to check out. Everything in this video will be linked down below because I know some of the Asian sunscreens can be a little bit hard to find online. If you want to pick anything up from Muse Beauty, the Impressionism palette, or the Impressionism lip glazes in Cezanne or Cassat, you can use my discount code KAYA10 at musebeauty.com for 10% off. So I think you guys generally tend to like these real-time skincare routine videos. So if you do like it and you want to see more of these, definitely let me know what type of skincare routine you'd like to see me demonstrate in real time. But with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching and spending this time with me. Have a beautiful week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!